welcome to Yak Ventures. Hey, if this is your first time finding the channel, man, check it out. See what you think. A lot of kayak fishing, a lot of ocean fishing, a little bit of commercial fishing. If you like the fish, if you like the water, you like the ocean, you like the rivers, you like the lakes, you might like this channel. So, uh, hey, this morning I was going to go to the coast, fish one of those coastal lakes. Last weekend I went to Cottage Grove Reservoir and it was kind of too cold the water, at least too cold for me to catch fish. But uh, I'm not feeling the greatest, having a hard time breathing. So there'll be a lot less yakking on this channel and a lot more casting for today's episode. But uh, yeah, so I did an exploratory trip last night. I uh, came out here. Uh, I thought, well, let's see if I can even like get around, you know, like, oh, you can hardly breathe. <clears throat> you know, but let's, you know, let's see what, let's see how the fishing is. Well, uh, let me just tell you that uh, I couldn't wait to get back here. And it snowed last night at my house. I mean, not very, I mean, like, just come down and stuck. You're going to see a little bit of that in the B-roll. But uh, I'm expecting to get some pretty good bites today. I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler. I got five yesterday out of here. Five. And two were good. I got, I got something figured out. So we're going we're gonna to fish that pattern today. It's about April 6th, I think. It's a Saturday morning. And the water temperature is cold back here in the creek arm. We're looking at 48.81. So I'm sure it's going to warm up when we uh, paddle away from the influx of water and head down the lake. But we're going to kind of start out this morning. Let me throw in a jerk bait. I, my, a jerk bait has probably been my number one confidence bait when I first started out. Rudy, quit shivering, buddy. You're making me look bad on camera here. He jumped in the water right off the get-go. Kids, you know. So, yeah. Do you want me throwing a jerk bait this morning? I got the new Provoke 97 Double D. That means it's a deep diver. It's a smaller profile. It's in the color Spanish Bone. I think it's Spanish Bone. Kind of a white, creamy color. And uh, knowing that I caught fish here earlier, last couple days, I know there's fish cruising around there. So we're gonna slip up nice and quiet in the old Hobie out back. We're gonna slam a couple jerkbait fish to start with. Then I tied on a Luke Clausen uh, ball head jig. Uh, and it keep paired up with dirty jigs also. And uh, put on a black and blue trailer of a sweet beaver. So, uh, yeah, between a jig and a jerk bait, we're going to see if we can't get us a six and a half pounder, maybe a seven, maybe an eight. Be kind of nice. All right, talk at you later. You'll warm up when the sun comes out there, knucklehead. Teach you to stay out of the water. Ooh, I think it's running kind of deep. I think the deep diver's living up to its name. Hey, Brody, this might be our 2024 jerkbait bass. First one, maybe, huh? 49.57. She's warming up slowly but surely. Ooh, we got a bad frizzy, bad frizzy. Oh, my biggest bass from here came from a jerk bait. It was in December, and I think it was pushing seven and a half, maybe even eight pounds. I did not have a scale with me, but boy, was it huge. I'll never forget that morning. I just went fishing just for a little bit. I had some studying to do. I had a big old test I was getting ready to take and I needed a break and came down here just for the morning. The funny thing is I was fishing off the bank and I snagged up on one of my lures. 
So being like a geek like me, I went ahead and cut my line and tied it to the bank. And I figured I'd come back in the morning, whoo, retrieve my lure, and do a little bit of fishing in December. And oh my gosh, they were chewing that morning. The wind was blowing, uh, the lake was drawn down, and I was just, oh, I think I caught four or five that day and they were all over two pounds. But that big one, that's something else. I'll never forget that. No more snagged hooks, no more getting it in the rain gear, no more getting inside of the leg. That is the way to go. Ball head jig, black and blue, beaver trailer, finesse style jig. There's a whole lot of sexy going on with that jig right there. My line, is, or my reel, is squeaky. It needs a little oil. It's gonna sound like er, 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 er. What was that? We're gonna get a jig bite. Jig bite, huh? 49.95 degrees, Rudy. So this creek channel makes a swing and goes over there against that steep wall and I see a big old chunk of wood and the sun's hitting it. Uh, it's 49.99 right here. I'm curious if it's going to be warmer there and if we got a big old largemouth sitting on that chunk of wood. Got a, got a goose over there protecting it. Oh yeah, she's dropping off 24 feet, going to come back up on that side obviously. But we got some good structure. We're gonna see if there's some big old fish sitting on sitting on the structure. All right, we're in stealth mode. Here we go. Not a bad cast. Let's put it in reverse. Oh, too late. came in a little closer than I wanted to. Probably spooked him right off if there was one there. Hey, the water warmed up. It's 50 degrees right here. Good call. Check out this rock wall covered in moss and ferns. That is pretty cool, huh? Oregon's got some pretty cool stuff, no doubt. Oh, the sun feels good, 49.54. It's fluctuating. Thinking about just throwing on the crankbait and chucking and whining until we get to some other stuff, Rudy. What do you think? All right, I got confidence in the old deep tiny here. Alrighty, we caught one here last time on the deep tiny. Wasn't very big. It was a raining and a blowing. Not like, okay, 48.46. Rudy, up or down, man, dude. Bow or stern, pick your, pick your poison, man. Come on. You're killing me, man, you're killing me. Oh, dude, you barely got, you're barely alive. Look at that. Yikes. Ouch. That doesn't feel very good, I'll bet you. you better put some neosporin on that, bud.
sitting off this point this morning. This is the second one. This is a good one here. Sun just came out, just hit the water. We're probably going to net this one. Oh, you ain't that big. Hooked in the top of the head. Uh, he's a white bass, so. Just coming up. Let's see here. Yeah. All right, we got the jerk bait back on. We're just gonna, water's not really warming up. 48.63 right here. If anything, it's getting colder. I fished the other side, but we got a bass boat over there working it pretty good. So we're just gonna stick with what we know, Rudy. You don't leave fish to find fish. He's having a hard time this morning going back and forth. He's let loose a couple good, pretty powerful dog farts too. All right, my plan of attack. It is uh, 9.20. We're gonna put on a natural color chatterbait. This is the Evo. Oh, 3 eighths, I want the half ounce. Mm, one second. Yeah, we're gonna put on the half ounce Evo chatterbait in a natural looking bluegill color. And we're gonna chuck and wind up against the bank all the way back to the truck. And if we don't get bit, I'm gonna, I'm feeling good enough. I think I can actually do a little bit of work. It's pretty bad when you feel good enough to go back to work, huh? <laughs> yeah, anyway, I've caught them on that this year. What do you think, Rudy? I think that's a winner. Winner, winner. I got the half ounce because these banks are steep. Pretty deep. Drops off pretty quick. So I want to get her down there and slow roll it across the bottom and try to avoid any wood. Yeah, chucking wine. Feel like we're striper fishing. Chatterbait. Chatterbait fish. <laughs> oh, ain't very big, but by golly, we are just doing wonders on a chatterbait. We came through here. We already came through here with a crankbait. Nothing. That's it, Rudy. We casted it to the bottom, let it sink, and boom. Just a little guy. Oh, can't go wrong with that chatterbait. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. It's not going to work, Rudy. <coughs> We've got a gobbler up there on the hill, but... He can tell I'm a, not the real deal. Okay, I've been bit twice with a jig. So we're gonna slow way down. That one I should have had. I'm hoping it was a small one and that was a good, good bite.
That was a good bite. I jerked back and pulled the skirt down. I just missed one and it was like a gimme bite. Like he picked it up and grabbed it and started swimming with it. I jerked, I brought him to the surface and he flashed and he was a big one, probably two pounder. Oh my gosh. Sometimes fishing this jig will put you to sleep. That hurt. That was a good one. That was a good one. I missed three jig fish so far this morning. All right, we're gonna go back through there. It's been about five minutes since I hooked that bass. And look what we're gonna try to fool them with right here. We're gonna give it our best. I should have hooked. Oh my gosh. I let him swim around with it in his mouth and he spit it out. Oh my gosh. I was going to try to get it on camera. We're supposed to hang on to that longer than that. <laughs> well shoot that was a gimme there